Does pineapple belong on a pizza? Who cares? But it definitely belongs in this dish. Sweet and sour pork belly this good should be legal. It may not be illegal, but it sure feels naughty when you eat it. I'm gonna show you four easy steps to make the best sweet and sour pork belly ever. So just sit back, grab a drink or two, and let's get into it. We know we need some pork for this recipe. Skinless pork belly is what I grabbed from the best in the business. And that would be Gippsland Premium Meat. And the only prep needed now is to dice it up. And we're just gonna slice the pork belly into roughly three centimeter wide strips and then cube it all up. So you roughly have three centimeter by three centimeter cubed bits of pork belly. And then place this into a container. Step one is making the marinade. Understandably, sweet and sour pork is gonna need a marinade. We just need to add all of these ingredients into a bowl, mixing them up thoroughly. Now add this to the pork, slap the lid on, and shake it up. Pop this in the fridge for a couple of hours to allow the sauce to do its thing. If you don't have a couple of hours spare, just pop it in the fridge for two hours. We need a pineapple, halved, then sliced into three centimeter strips, then trim off the outer skin, and don't forget to remove that hard core. And then just slice it into wedges. Now using my strong and reliable metal skewers, start threading the pork and the pineapple onto them, alternating as you go, making sure to keep the skewers roughly all the same size. This way, they'll cook more evenly. Step two is setting up your barbecue correctly. Today, I'm gonna to be using this hibachi styled rectangular shaped charcoal burning apparatus and I'm gonna be pairing it up with this 100 mil riser just to keep the skewers a little higher off the direct heat. Because I want good airflow, I'll make sure the bottom vents are wide open. I'll put the riser in, then I'll half fill a chimney starter with lump charcoal, I'll light it up and once it's fully alight, I'm gonna dump it into the rectangular shaped charcoal burning apparatus. Then, using an old pair of tongs, I'm gonna to spread the charcoal out so we get even heat. And then I'm gonna add this cooling rack that resembles an abachi style cooking grill. If you don't have a riser, you're just gonna to have to turn your skewers a lot more frequently to stop them from burning. Step three is cooking these sweet and sour pork skewers properly. No need to wait, we can get them straight onto the heat. They will produce a little smoke firstly from the oil in the marinade and secondly as the juices drip down and hit those hot coals, licking the meat with that smoky goodness. Just keep turning the skewers every 30 seconds. We do not want to burn these, we just want to create some nice tasty charring. When pork belly is cooked for a short amount of time, it is still tender but it has a little bit of chew. Cook it too far and it becomes tough. Alternatively, if you keep pushing it, it becomes tender again. Today, I'm grilling with a medium direct heat and these skewers are gonna take around 30 minutes to be gobstop and ready. Or for those of you who love to follow my beer timer, you're looking at a one beer cook. Cheers. The skewers are ready so we can just get them off the heat and we're gonna put them onto a serving platter and serve as they are with a fresh squeeze of lime juice or Get on to step four and make these skewers stand out from the crowd by grabbing a crusty Vietnamese styled roll, adding some julienne carrots, thinly sliced green onion, the green parts left over from our marinade, slap a skewer into it, take the skewer out, top with some creamy aioli and a sprinkle of chopped coriander. Does pineapple belong on a pizza? Who cares? But it definitely belongs in this dish, sweet and sour pork belly. Wrap your laughing gear around that. 